Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're, We're the, the Crafty Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. A lot of you remember we found this vintage TV on the side of the road a few years ago. Yes, and we've been upcycling and decorating it differently for seasons ever since. Yes, you different might, holidays. Yeah, you might remember last year we did a winter wonderland, which we think came out really cute. Yes, and this year, since we're not doing our big classic vintage fireplace, we decided to put our fireplace right in the TV. This is how we did it. Okay, so we cheated a little bit. We used the same backing from our winter scene from last year and redressed it. This was a backing that was cut out of foam board. Yeah, it was just cut to size of the back of the TV so it fits in perfectly. And then we found this brick paper at this local dollar store. We use it every year and we just glued it on really well and then trimmed it to size. And of course, Teddy had to get in the action. He loves to help out and make sure we're doing everything right and we put the back on. Yeah, and then for the size, we measured the sides, cut out two pieces of foam board, then put a lot of hot glue and attached the brick paper right on top and then just cut it to size. Now we knew we wanted them to be at an angle, so we tried to line up the brick to match the backing as much as possible, but you know, it's paper and it's finicky and it's really not gonna be the main focus, so we weren't too worried about it. Then we put a piece of black poster board on the bottom, now to build our fire. We busted out our Maker X airbrush. Yes, we love this thing. It's battery operated, portable, so cool. We wanted to raise the logs, but we couldn't find anything to do it, so we used a cookie cooling rack, but of course we couldn't find one the color we wanted. So we airbrushed it gold. It looks so good. So good. Now this is what actually inspired our fireplace. We found these at Target one day and we saw it and it just clicked. We knew we had to get them for our fireplace in our TV. <laughs> yes, but the cords were white. So we just used a little bit of electrical, electrical tape. tape and then turn them black just so you don't see them and then pull them through the back. How we doing, Teddy? He's unimpressed. <laughs> And then we started putting it all together. And we were really thankful because of course I didn't measure the cookie sheet and I didn't know if it would fit in, but it did. Yes. And then we plugged our lights in, their USB uh, charger, LED, porter, I don't yeah. know what that's called. But we wanted uh, to create a level, so we used the packaging that was inside one of the boxes just to prop up that center flame there. Luckily, we found some birch logs, but they were just too big, so we cut them down to size. Yes, and then the airbrush came in handy again because we wanted to add kind of a, uh, charred. a charred, like, uh, like rough, used look, you yes. know? Yes, we actually considered doing this on the back of the fireplace, like the, the brick paper. But we but, just like fell in love with that red so much. I yes, we like thought we, it looked so nice. Yeah, but what we love about the airbrush is it adds just, like, such a hint of detail. Oh my gosh, look how much better this looks. And then we started to add our logs. Yeah, we tried to do a little bit of a crisscross look, just like stack them up a bit, just to give them a bit of height. Yeah, some more dimension. Yeah. And we thought we had to glue them in, but they just stayed right in there, just where we placed them. For the outside, we kept it vintage, classic, with some tinsel and some double-sided tape. Really did the trick. For the inside, we thought it needed some more movement or some action in there. So we got these pumpkin lights that we found online. They're battery operated and they have a remote. It adds a subtle flickering effect that really brings everything to life. It looks so cute, we're obsessed. Yes, everything's connected with the remote control. Even though I'm pretending to turn it on. Yep, Andrew always, always the jokester. <laughs> we really love it though. It, yes, like, it's we modern, kept it simple, it's mi minimal. Oh, yeah. Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the neon fire. Oh my gosh, it is oh utterly gosh. charming. Yes. I can almost feel the heat coming off of it. <laughs> you know, we kept talking about how we were gonna decorate the outside of it, and we just like decided to keep it minimal this year just because of everything going on. We really like how it looks, but let us know in a comment below how you would decorate it. Yes, and we hope to see you soon. Happy holidays. Bye. It's that special time of year of lights and tree decor. The crafty lumberjacks have DIYs galore. Add tchotchkes all around to brighten up your space. Their fab ideas and hacks will marry up the place. Oh, happy, happy holidays from Dennis and Andrew. These New York chaps have the crafty chops to make the season pop. Get your glue gun, grab some snacks, pull out your cricket too. The crafty lumberjacks are here to spend some time with you. Happy holidays!